Here I am, Catherine, with another one of these goddamn video clips. Um, I'm a little concerned because I just realized that my refrigerator is leaking, appears to be leaking moisture. Um, like the refrigerator is still on and I do feel some cold air inside of it, but I can tell that the stuff in the freezer isn't frozen the way that it was just recently. Um, you know, it's not, there's like a little bit of, you know, ice in there, but the stuff isn't frozen like it was. So, um, you know, there's this thing in the freezer that, you know, looks like there was a temperature adjuster, but it looks like it may have been broken off. Um, I don't know if it's been like that. I tried to turn the piece underneath over to colder, but it's hard for me to tell if it if it is, and I found something inside the bottom part of the refrigerator, a little switch that said if you switch it, it will reduce exterior moisture, so I just um, switched that too, but I mean there is some water on the floor, and earlier I came home from an appointment, I was out, you know, for a couple hours, a few hours at the most, and when I came in, I smelled like a faint burnt smell, and I was concerned that it had to do with a fan in the kitchen window, which is pretty old and kind of dusty, and I thought, oh no, the fan in the window, something started to burn. I mean, there was no evidence of fire or anything like that, but I removed the fan from the window. I'm retiring that fan because it is old and there's dust. But now I'm wondering if the burnt smell had something to do with the refrigerator. I just texted the landlord describing the situation. So I'm going to hope that tomorrow whatever fiddling I did in the refrigerator and the freezer will have fixed something, but, you know, I'm concerned that the refrigerator is kaput. It seems very old. The refrigerator seems very old. There's, like, rust marks <laughs> on the side of it. Um, there's, like, right after I moved in, I noticed that in the refrigerator door inside, there's, like, you know, you normally have those couple condiment shelves, and I noticed that the bottom condiment shelf and the door was, like, missing the arm that holds the stuff in. So I ended up putting a curtain rod in there, which has worked pretty well. I duct taped a curtain rod in there to hold the condiments in the bottom of the refrigerator door. But anyway, I'm concerned that the refrigerator is, like on its last legs, and I hope that my landlord isn't a jerk about it. If it does need to be replaced, I mean, I will take pictures, whatever needs to be done, but um, I'm relieved there was no fire. There was no fire. You know, I got rid of the fan. I just tried to fix stuff with the refrigerator. I dried up some water that was on the floor. I mean, it's not gushing water, but anyway, these are my problems. And part of my fear is that yesterday I had to get a locksmith to come out. I came home from another appointment yesterday and I realized that this key came off the key ring. Um, my apartment door, I use this little device. You put it over the doorknob on the outside and it has its own lock. So basically it's covering the regular doorknob and the keyhole and the regular doorknob. So it's basically like me having a separate key to the little device 
in case somebody got a hold of copies of the landlord's keys because I have fears about people getting in the apartment while I'm out. And so today when I went out, I didn't, I didn't put that device over the doorknob. I just left the doorknob clear, regular, regular doorknob. Um, I did put the security alarm on, um, but, uh, like the reason that I have things like that, like the little device to put over the doorknob on the outside with its own key, the reason I do that stuff is because I worry about someone getting in the apartment and doing something like damaging the refrigerator or damaging a fan or damaging the cats or I don't know, you know, I just feel like there's been a history over the years of sometimes someone getting into apartments and, you know, damaging stuff or taking something. You know, it's always something where I can't prove that someone came in and did it deliberately. You know, it's always like something where if I talk to the police about it, they'll be like, well, maybe the refrigerator just died. It's old. Or they'll be like, well, maybe the cat just got really sick. Or maybe, you know, they'll have some reason. They'll be like, oh, maybe you lost this such and such. Maybe you misfiled it. You know, there's always... It's always something where it's hard to prove it. So I'm hoping that the refrigerator thing was just something that was going to happen anyway. I hope no one came in today while I was out and fucking vandalize the refrigerator, um, you know. So I'm going to hope that when I get up in the morning tomorrow, I was able to resolve or fix whatever was going on with it. And um, I did reorder one of those lock things to cover the doorknob when I'm out. I just want to have the option, you know, it's, they're cheap. You can get it for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks at the most on Amazon. Um, so these are my problems. Not to mention that I went to my primary care doctor yesterday and she thinks that the white splotches on my face, you know, that I haven't gone away in three months. She does think I should see a dermatologist and she thinks dermatologists might want to biopsy it, but I kind of thought she was going to say that. So I'll deal with it and hopefully it's nothing. I went to my eye doctor today. They said my peripheral vision loss is stable, hasn't gotten worse. I'm glad about that. But um, I just want a working refriger refrigerator. I want a secure apartment. I don't want to feel like someone's going to use a copy of a key to get in and break stuff. Um, so I'm just venting. This is just a way that I deal with anxiety. Um, and if the refrigerator is dying, if the refrigerator dies, the landlord better replace it quickly because I need a refrigerator. I can't have, um, I can't have, I can't just like go out to eat for every meal or something. I would like to, but I can't. I need the refrigerator. I need it to work. Okay. Thank you for listening.